What's up guys of Bay Games here and today I'm going to talk about the easter egg and storyline of Mob of the Dead and even if there is any connection with uh, you know with the main storyline and even with the easter eggs that we are doing you know in uh, Green Run and Great Leap Forward slash Die Rise. So there has to be some connection you know between the easter eggs and even the storyline but I think this time Treyarch you know make this a little bit weird and confusing. So I'm pretty sure a lot of things are going to be explained when we actually play the map. Don't forget, I still didn't play the map. We are still like one week, you know, before the release. But I guess, you know, I can talk about a few things. I can explain what I know and, you know, give a few theories. So the first thing I want to talk about is the red eyes. And I did already, a, you know, a previous video about, you know, the red eyes explaining what they could mean. But, you know, if you are new viewers and new subscribers, I guess I can explain really fast. So basically, what I really think is that the red eyes mean that no one is in control. Basically, you know, the zombies are just lost souls. And, you know, some people were actually saying that, you know, Maxis could be in control. I doubt it, but, you know, we could be, though. Now, another important thing to mention is the time frame. And the time frame of uh, Mob of the Dead, I believe, is 1930s. And I'm saying that is because of the bridge that you see in the trailer and even in the screenshots of Mob of the Dead. Now, the bridge started to be built in 1933 and the project was finished in April of uh, 1937, I believe. So basically, you know, the time frame is 1934, you know, 35 or, you know, 36. I don't really think, you know, it's before or after. So, but that doesn't, you know, matter too much. What it matters is 1930s, you know, that's what it really matters. And another thing I want to point is that this cool, you know, the bridge could be destroyed. Now, if it's destroyed, then it's, you know, maybe, you know, in the future. So I don't really think it's destroyed. I do think, you know, it's, you know, in the 1930s. That's the time frame. So if it's in that time, you know, I guess, you know, it explains or it helps explaining, you know, the red eyes that we see in the zombies. Another important thing to mention is the guns. And especially this time we are in 1930s and we have the LSAT, we have the ray gun, we have even the AK-47. We have a lot of beast guns that are not from 1930s and we still have them, you know, in that time frame. So I guess what we can explain is that we are using you know time travel and teleporters and even the you know the characters might be doing that because and especially they were in America in Green Run and then they went to China I'm not sure how but I guess they you know teleported that's the only thing I can explain now why these four new characters I guess it's because it makes a little bit of sense in this map, in this specific map, in Alcatraz. I think the four old characters will not make too much sense in this environment. And I think that's, you know, the reason why. There might be some reasons, you know, maybe when we play the map, maybe they explain a few things and hopefully in the Easter egg we can have more details about the storyline and why are we in Alcatraz and I was thinking maybe one of the reasons is because it all started in Alcatraz in 1930s you know when the zombies appear from the first time it was in Alcatraz I don't really know it's just a theory but right now that's what I really think because why will Treyarch you know send us to 1930s it doesn't make too much sense unless like I said before there is a huge purpose for this. And if the zombies started in Alcatraz, then yes, it makes a lot of sense. Now, before I go, I want to talk about this track. And I really think this track is going to be totally different from the previous ones. I think this one is going to be unique with a new different objective, something that we never seen before. And I think the developers kind of gave us a few hints. And supposedly the purpose is basically just get out of this island, you know, just get out of Alcatraz, and I guess that's what we are going to do, I don't know if that's the easter egg now, if everything, you know, is going to work out, I don't really know, but I just can't wait, like I said before, is that the main easter egg though, are there 
smaller easter eggs i really hope so but i don't really know though but anyways guys i really think the tower and the nav cards are not going to appear in this map it doesn't make no sense because of the time frame the characters and even more so i think there is no point at all i have seen a tower in mob of the dead but i think it doesn't you know there is no relation at all but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like share this video with your friends and subscribe if you are new i'll be providing lots of mob of the dead content tips tricks uh the easter egg and even more and of course information of the two last dlcs but anyways thanks for watching and i'm out